Hi guys, welcome to the next video. So today, um, I know I've been off for quite a while, busy, not been feeling kind of well physically. Um, I think I've been just burning it at both ends, burning the candle as they say at both ends. Um, so I wanted to come today just to get ready for you and catch up. Um, yeah, it's just been a really, really stressful couple of weeks with um, work and personal life and things like that. So. I didn't want to come on and kind of put energy into it and then kind of feel like I shouldn't have put it up kind of thing. Um, so yes, I thought I'd get ready with you today. My skin is having an okay day a little bit, um, but I can see a little things pop up. Um, but today I wanted to get um, ready with you and just tell you a couple of things that I'm using a lot. Um, I've got a couple of primers to show you. Obviously in the last couple of videos I've been showing you a lot of e.l.f. products that I've been getting. But I've also been using Prime Magic from W7 which is this one, and it's the camera ready, and it's the green, because it counteracts redness. And also, I remembered in the Fuera that they actually had given me a primer as well. So it's an all matte, pure, pure invisible primer. It has a little bit of a stickiness to it, but um, I thought I'll use it up. Not today, because I wanted to kind of... Sh what I'm going to use today is the W7. I've got a couple of foundations to show you. None of my foundations... I've obviously gotten a tan over the summer, and all my foundations are paler, um, so the only one I could find, find even, because I'm trying to use up everything I have, was Nuvu Beige in Max Factor. It is a little bit darker than Fair, although I think I mentioned before Max Factor is starting to change their formula. So um, even the Fair had like a tint of an orangey tint to it. Um, so this is Nuvu Beige and it's number 13 um, and I got that on Amazon. So I've already cleansed my face. Um, I hope everyone is well. This is what it looks like, and it's quite a creamy consistency. You don't need a lot. And what I do, I think people sometimes misunderstand primer, but it all over the face. What I tend to do is put it where the, the makeup starts to just fall away, which is usually your cheeks, your T-zone, and sometimes just around the eyes. So that's what I'm going to do today. So you don't need a lot, and that's what it looks like. Um, I've been to Ireland, obviously, since I last spoke to you um, in the summer. Um, and it was really great being home. Um, Mum, it was great seeing mum, so I'm just lifting it there where it needs to be. Um, it was great seeing mum and going back home. It was just so nice to see everybody. Um, but then you come home and you just feel you come back and you kind of you do get that homesickness straight away. I was literally back straight into work as well, so I didn't have any days off or anything like that. So I'll just show you the. It's like a twist cap. Hold up. And this is the Nuvu Beige, Nuvu Beige colour. So there's definitely a change in the consistency in terms of the colours. Um, I'll put the Max Factor review I did a couple of years ago now, um, when I did um, kind of review all of the colours. I think mostly all of the colours. Um, at the moment I just have Fair and Nuvu Beige, um, but if I need more, I'll get more. Um, so what I'm going to do is just pop it where I need to. I also have some concealers I want to show you. The next video is also going to be a tidy up of all my makeup desk and kind of storage because when you're busy you just about me I go in I pack what I need to I come back out because I'm doing a lot of overnights and um, and even in the morning even though it's a mess <laughs> I know where things are it's kind of my mess but I still don't want it to be so messy so I'll do a um, declutter plus a because I want to get rid of things that I'm not really using a declutter and a um, kind of tidy up and everything um, I also have a dress giveaway because, um, you know that yellow dress that I did with the Sainsbury's clothing? Um, I just found it didn't really suit me. Um, wasn't really just suited to my, to my frame, things like that, to my body. So um, what I'll do is I'll do a very quick video after this one. Um, it'll be basically a giveaway. So the first person to email me direct, I'll just send it out just so it makes it fair. So the very first person to email, I will just post out the, the dress to you. Um, I will kind of put a picture up somewhere, but I also did a, um, a clothing haul um, and I will link that below too. Um, but yes, the dress I did wear on the video and I just felt it just didn't suit my frame. It just, you know, when you just, you love a dress, but you kind of put it on afterwards and you get home and you just know this is not, this is not really, it doesn't suit me. So yes, I'll be giving that away. It's like a yellow floral and um, three quarter length and um, just goes below the knees, but for me, I just didn't think it suited me whatsoever. Um, I tried it a couple of times and I thought I'm not going to go out in that because when I look in the full length mirror, it just doesn't sh doesn't suit me, it doesn't suit my frame, but I can I can imagine it would suit other frames. So what I will do is put it up here, but also in the video really quickly, I'll show you the dress. 
So yeah, so that's the foundation and you can see it almost doesn't even look like I have um, any foundation on because I have had a tan over the summer. I have gotten not a really, really strong tan, but certainly it wouldn't suit the, um, the foundations I have. For example, my NARS is really bright as well. So what I am going to use today is an e.l.f. I've got the e.l.f. Hydrating and the e.l.f. Um, camo Concealer. This is 16 hour wear. Um, now I'm not, I'm only in Energy Kids today. I am, I'm not in Dimensions, but still I want it to look fresh. Um, so I would highly recommend. It's one of the best concealers I've ever had. So I'm just going to pop that under. You can see how pale it is, but it definitely blends in and it gives you that nice consistency. And then what I also do is just bring it down the, down the cheekbone because then it will define anything you do above, like blush, contouring, even if it's just bronzing. So I'm using my Vitamin E Hydrating Mist, which I'm definitely desperately low on, so I do need to do a super jug haul. But my next video will certainly be decluttering my room. There's a couple of things I also want to get rid of too. I've had too long, you know, when you want to, you want to shop your stash, but you know certain things, okay, I've had that too long, I need to throw it away, <laughs> basically, but yes, it, when I go into my room, it looks, it looks chaotic, but to me, I know where everything is, and I think now it's just bothering me, it's getting to the point where it's just really bothering me, so yes, you can see how it just blends in, so we saw how pale it was when we put it on, and how dark my foundation is, but actually, as you see, it doesn't make a huge, huge contrast, but it definitely just complements what you're still at. For example, I was trying to just get rid of some of those um, scars from recent breakouts. You can see it's done that. Um, and as you can see here, it's slightly just giving me that definition, which is what I wanted. So now we're just going to do the eyes. I spent a little bit more time. I do have a mirror opposite the camera, so that's why I wanted to. Know, so I wasn't looking away. I'm bringing that right above as well. So yes, I don't know about you, but how many times you declutter and then I need to do my brushes and it's a whole thing really. And I've just been thinking so much about, you know, the future and I know this is really weird, but I've been thinking about babies and all sorts of things have been going through my head and it's really weird. I never dream and the last kind of at least two weeks I've been dreaming every three, you know, at least three times a week of these really random things, really, really random things. Like last night, this is so crazy, I had a dream that I went, what was I doing? I was something like, everybody was going surfboarding and it was a huge amount of people, at least 30 people. And the girl that was giving out, this, the lady that was giving out the surfboard said, I'm sorry, there's none left for you, but I can give you this life jacket. And I was like, well, a life jacket isn't the same experience as a surfboard. And she says, well, if you want to join the group, you can wear the life jacket. And if you don't, you can watch. And so I wore the life jacket and then I started to kind of, um, one of my friends was there, um, Megan, and she was there and she was like, I need help. And I had the life jacket and she didn't have it. So I was grabbing her. So I was grabbing her, bringing her back to shore. And then other guys were just laughing at us. I was like, what's going on? And then I was trying to, and then I just woke up and then I had another dream the same night that I was in um, a big shopping center and I was trying to get out and every, every level the the lift kept saying down. And every time I got in the lift, it went up. So <laughs> I have no idea, guys. If you are into dreams, please comment below if anything means that to anyone. So yes, the entire dream, it was just me frustrated, trying to get up. And then people were going into the lift saying, yes, this is, or sorry, trying to get down. This is the down lift. And then it would just go up. It was really strange, really, really weird. So yes, two of the dreams that don't really make sense to me, but it's not like to dream loads i do dream now and then but i'm not that type of person i've got a few friends that do they're quite they do dream a lot and some friends that just never dream or just don't remember but those two same not last night i had them the same night really odd really really odd so yes concealer is all blended in now i would highly recommend um the 16 hour matte finish because you can see it doesn't look too dry and um, i think what's helped that is the prime magic because it has that consistency really soft consistency i think they really complement each other so now that we've done that, um, there's two um, setting powders I've been going sorry, I've been going between. One is the Elf Halo Glow, which you know I've used a couple of times, and then I've got the Miracle Veil from Radi it's Radiant Loose Powder from Max Factor, and this is um, Radiant Loose Powder Miracle Veil. There isn't a name um, for it, um, but that's what it looks like. Slightly darker. This says it's translucent. I would say 
take your time blending this if you get it in translucent because um, it comes on really light and um, so really blend that in if you so it's great it definitely does what it says um, but when I put it on for translucent so for example with this tone of colour of foundation we have gone a little bit darker and um, take your time blending that out because spend a little bit more time because it it does give you that light and it doesn't look doesn't look right basically but as you blend it in it's absolutely fine so today what I wanted to do is just use the radiant max factor um for today um micro fine mineral minerals um setting and it does illuminate the skin so what I wanted to do before any powder um was use my Charlotte Tilbury and there's so many dupes for this guys um, it's their flawless filter for a superstar youth glow when you put it over your foundation and concealer if you're having a really good skin day just wear it on its own um, so um, I don't think I would have the <laughs> nerve to go out without foundation I think it's just me um, so you just apply it there's a lot of different um, tones it comes in I got this on cold beauty and I had a discount code um, and just put it in areas you can either use your um, use your fingers or use your damp sponge I'm going to use a sponge today um, and it just gives you that glow so I'll just read a little bit I think I did a video on it too so it's the flawless filter superstar youth glow um, 30 mils and um, I will put the price what I paid for it, but again it was a discount it just says for a superstar youth glow there's nothing but I do know that it, it really just illuminates you without looking over the top and it also doesn't have a flash flashback so mine was in um, Fair, but as you can see, Fair actually is a little bit, I would say, that was the one thing I'd say, I got colour matched, um, and their fairs and their idea of pales aren't what we would, what I would expect <clears throat> in terms of Fair, I would think that this colour would be a little bit lighter, but actually, as you can see, this is Fair, and it doesn't look really, really ghostly and white, which is what I like, really. So you can get colour matched or if you see the colour and you say yes that's definitely my colour you can just add it to the basket but they do a colour match which I really like. Basically put your picture up, take the picture and no makeup obviously and um, press submit and then they it's kind of like it turns for a minute like a circle uploading things and then it brings down so it wouldn't just bring down Charlotte Tilbury it would bring down a lot of brands that they think would be your 100% match so no it's really really good. I will link Cult Beauty below so you can see if I turn it's definitely given that luminous glow but it hasn't kind of made me look really shiny. The other thing I really like about it is that it doesn't when you put powder on it doesn't um, kind of disappear which is what my fear was is that you've got this lovely youth glow but then um, the powder kind of takes away everything you've done. So today I'm going to use the Max Factor as I said before Radiant Loose Powder the only thing it doesn't have, it has a sift, but it, um, e.l.f. has, which I really like, I'll just show you, um, it has like, a, you can close it when you're finished, where is it, I don't think I've brought it, well it has a, I've actually left it, this was actually the poreless primer, but they have the exact same, the exact same packaging, so that was me, um, no it's here, sorry it's right here, Halo Glow, um, so what it has is, it does have the same design, but it has a sifter, so you just turn it, when you're finished and then nothing comes out which i really like and this doesn't have that so that would be the only complaint i would have about that okay so i'm just going to use my powder brush and um, and we are going to just pop that on the um, brush i'm just going to put some in the lid it's the easiest way to do it really and just looking in the mirror i'm just gonna so you can see it's giving me a slight kind of tan but if you look here it hasn't made me look um, two colours which I really really like. I do pop it down there too but you can see still see the glow and I haven't needed a lot either and that lasts at least 12 hours. I mean I've never had 24 hour makeup before that I've needed to but um, if you you know if you do if you're a nurse or you're a doctor and you're you know you're on nights um, I think this would really be a good one to keep. Um, so that's that. So now what I wanted to do is, I'm loving the Emily edit still, I've got a few things that I'm not sure I'll pick online with you now. Um, this is for um, bronzing, I've kind of gone off con contouring, I think summer was really nice to have that bronze look. I think if I'm going out on a night out I will do the contour but I've really been enjoying the bronzing effect. Um, so I've got a couple, I've got Emily Noel who I follow, this is her, um, she's got a couple, Emily Noel, The Needs. 
This is e.l.f. So you've got your contour, your under eye brightening. You can use it as a bronzer. And I've also got W7 Honolulu bronzer. So I don't know which one I'll go for. I think I'm really loving. I haven't used it in a while and I do love it, the Emily Noel. So in Emily Noel, the needs, she gave you eyeshadow and setting powder, um, illuminate, illuminate, like um, highlighting, um, bronzer, and then this is what they use as either a contour or a bronzer. So I think I will go with that. And that's what I want to do. And here are the eyeshadows here. So what I might do is just put that on the lid just to give you that fresh look. That's what it looks like. So it's not too shiny. You can see it just makes the eye pop like that. You can see the dis the difference. So we'll just and this is called Love. They all have different names. Mine was online on Amazon. I'm not quite sure if they have it. They used to have it in Superdrug. I'm not quite sure if they still do. But I will link the Amazon link below. Okay, and it just gives that eye colour a pop. Okay, and then what you could do is go with like a You've got faith and you've got um, hope and they are darker so you could make like a smoky eye be really nice and um, but I just wanted to give my eyes an awake look today because I'm at primary school today and I didn't want to look too intense but you could certainly do that um, and now what I want to do now that we've had that setting powder on and we've done our illumination um, from Charlotte Tilbury I want to go in with um, this is courage and this is the either contour or bronzing so I have some elf brushes that I got quite recently and I've got this is Elf's blush brush and Elf's um, highlighter um, but what I'm going to do is use this fan effect and just really lightly put it in so I really get that on the and what I do is I just kind of lightly start on the forehead And you can see from the darkness of Courage, it's actually come out really nice and light. So that's Courage here. And I'm just going to do that again. And again, there is a mirror just above the camera. And you can see it's just giving me that kind of sun-kissed look. I'm really into bronzing for some reason at the minute. I if I need to contour, I will. And then what you can do is just go over your, with your pad brush, just kind of if there's any harsh lines. I don't think there is. But it's just really matched, if you see with the foundation, with the um, Radiance Powder from Max Factor, it all really matches really well. Um, and then I'm really, really careful because what I do then is I use um, the, you, I use my blush brush also for bronzing because I just love the shape. It's really, really lovely and it does wash really well. So we're going to go back into Courage and all I'm going to really lightly is I'm going to bronze. So we're just going to lightly bronze here. And you can see it's giving that really nice look. It's all even as well. So nothing is darker than the other. And I have been careful to leave where we put that concealer as well. Now it's going to look a little bit darker on this side, but it's not just because the lighting is better on this side. I did try the lighting in a previous video and I removed it because it just didn't look right at all. I wasn't happy. If I'm not happy with the video, I won't put it up if it's not good quality. Because, you know, I'm aware of people who are watching it. I don't want it to be bad quality. So... See, if I turn and the light reflects, it is the same as this one. So sometimes when you haven't got the same level of lighting, it will um, look different. But I think as you look this way, and then I just do under here slightly. So I'm really happy with that. And again, I'm feeling that it's kind of evening out. It's not going to make me look, um, it's not going to mismatch anything. Okay, so that's that. Um, I love Joy, so this is Joy. I'm going to clean off the blush brush and I'm going to go in with her Joy. Now I have a couple of um, blushes here too. I do have the e.l.f. Um, liquid. Um, it's a three-in-one. It's the monochrome multi-stick um, and you can use it. It's, it's cream-based, um, lovely colour. Um, I have done it on my lips and my cheeks before. Um, but I think today it'll just be my lips. Um, I, um, it is nice as a, as a blush, but I think it doesn't last as long as a powder one for me would, which you would think is the opposite because liquid kind of clings a bit more to the skin. But I found it kind of went a little bit patchy over time. So um, 
throughout the day. So what I'm going to do is go in with Joy, which is that blush from Emily Noel that I showed you. And I'm going to go in with the Elf's blush brush that I've cleaned off. So this is what it looks like, loving the, the shape. So we're going to go in with that. Picks up really, really well. And I have the mirror here, which is a little bit closer for blush. Now it's going to come off super strong in the at the start, but it blends out really light. So you can see it's just giving that pop of colour. If you have really defined cheeks as well, it's beautiful. Don't be afraid to bring that up because don't forget, you can always blend out a colour. It's never, it may look a little bit intense when you start, but bl blending a colour out really, really helps. So what I'll do is it does take a little bit of time to blend colour out. So what I'll do is I'll blend it out and come back. Okay guys, so I've blended that out now and I'm really happy with that. Again, it just makes everything look even. Um, it does have a little bit of a different colour in terms of the, the bronze, so it all kind of mixes in. I think if I, thinking about it, if I went in with a really bright pink or, you know, a deep red, I don't think it would suit at all. And um, the tanned kind of look where I'm just kind of, what I'm trying to go for is clean skin, really nice eyes um, and defined eyebrows. And I think if you're going somewhere, whether it's picking the kids up or you're going shopping or anywhere, you've got that clean skin, you've got the, the eyes, you've got your brows. And, you know, that's a really, really good look if you're going somewhere, like if you're a teacher or if you're in the office. Um, if you're not somebody who wants to do the false lashes, things like that, it's it's a really good look to go for. Particularly if I, because I work in an after school, I try not to go over the top. But if I'm going to meet friends or I'm doing something like one of these um, reviews, I will also obviously go a little bit more intense. But for today, um, where I go, and I also work in dimensions where you wouldn't kind of go in with a full face of makeup um, because it's like a care home. This kind of thing for me really works well. So I always try to make sure that I have clean skin, that um, I'm using really clean brushes, clean sponges. Um, I'm using my foundation to suit my colour tone. So for example, I've switched up. Um, I do have NARS um, and I do have other foundations in e.l.f., things like that, that just are a little bit paler than I, than I used to be. I am very pale in November, December, up to January, maybe coming into March time. Then in the summer, I tend to kind of... Um, as you can see, I tend to get a little, not completely really, really dark, but I definitely pick up the sun. So that's why I switched to Nouveau Beige as well. So I'm just going to go in with my brows. This is the W7 Brow Kit and um, Brow Bar. Um, it did come with a little um, applicator, but I like to use my flat brush, which I'm doing now. I'm going to go in with a very light brown. Um, I have gone back to brown, as you can see. Um, and I want to mix that brown with a slight amount of that dark. So number two and number three is what I'm going in with. And I'm just going to look in the mirror quickly. I actually might look because it's really super close and it's a nice big mirror, is the Emily Noel. Even though I have a mirror there, I think when you're doing brows and stuff, it's nice to get a little bit closer. So um, that's the other really amazing thing is this is a full length mirror, which I absolutely love as well. So sorry if you can hear sirens and stuff, the, um, the, the doors are open. So it's just, it's quite warm this morning. So, I'm going in with the number two and number three. And we're literally just following the shape. And you can see it's just defined it. And I'm just kind of filling in parts where it's a little bit thinner, but I'm following the shape. I'm not making, I'm not putting brows where there aren't, where there aren't any, basically. Just gives it that nice defined look. And I use what's on the brush. I don't dip in again. I use what's on the brush already so that I'm not, one isn't darker than the other, basically. And there you go. Really, really quick. And it just really defines, goes with the colour of your hair, goes with everything, everything matches. Um, now what I'm going to do is put that monochrome. And I might just use my mix worth the hype. This has been doing really well in the heat and I, it didn't break you. Um, I think maybe I put a little bit too much on or um, it just, depending on the heat, I think it, it will kind of, it says it's waterproof, but it depends on what day you're using it. I know that sounds really strange, but um, when it was really, really hot in 27, 28 degrees a couple of months ago, it didn't really do very well. Um, but I've been noticing now I've had to reach for it a couple of times when I've been in a rush and I've accidentally popped it in instead of something else. Um, and it actually has really, really um, worked. So I'm quite impressed with that. 
So I'm going to go back with my Revolution Emily Noel mirror. I think it's really good. Loving the packaging too. I think she's come out with a couple more um, brands, but this was Makeup Revolution she worked with. So I'm not sure if she's worked with any other companies. You'd have to look it up. But she's really, really good. She's amazing at eye makeup um, and she's really true. She likes a product, she'll tell you. You know, if she doesn't like a product, she'll she'll say it. So she's really, really good in that sense. You really get a good... Um, kind of um, review from her and um, so this is the work the hype we're going to go in with NYX and I'm just going to with one hand pull it out this isn't going to work is it pull it out like that okay just I always just clean it off at the top I'm gonna it's going to straighten my hair today but it's so hot um I've been using the Pantene um keratin oil in my hair um, I'm trying to just, because I coloured it and it was a little bit dry afterwards, I'm trying not to dry out my hair too much. Um, but I have been looking at those brushes that they're already, they have a heat setting and you just brush your hair after you um, have blow dried it and it actually straightens it. So I'm definitely going to look into that too. So. Mm Sorry, you can't see what I'm doing here. What I'll do is I'll come back in a moment. So that's what it looks like. Um, I really like it. I think if you did four or five more, you'd really get those lashes going. But um, I'm happy with that today. Um, again, it's really, really good value too. It's on Amazon. NYX and W7. Um, and Elf are all animal cruelty free. Um, I'm really sure Max Factor have changed to animal cruelty free. Makeup Revolution, as I said as well, is makeup is um, animal cruelty free. So now we're going to go in with this Elf Monochrome. And it's a multi-stick. Um, you can get them in different colours. Mine is called Sparkling Rose. That's what it looks like. Um, and I'm going to use my trusty Emily Edit mirror for this. Because eyes and lips, I always want to have a little bit closer look. Um, it is bigger, which is nice, I think it gets. But then obviously you just want to make sure around the tops of the and outsides of the lips that you're not going over the lip itself. So we're just going to have a look quickly. Um, What I tend to do is go into the centre first. Again, I got this directly off of Elf's website as well. You can see the more you put on, I think the deeper it would go, but I love that it's kind of, it gives you, it's a, kind of a lip colour, but it, it just intensifies it a little bit more. So I'm happy with that. I really am. Um, that's why, I don't know if I do my eyes. It's for eyes, lips and, um, eyes, cheeks and lips. Um, I've had, I've tried it on my cheeks before. It's been nice but over time it kind of went a bit patchy in terms of i don't know i think it's the heat when you have some sort of kind of oil based or cream based product heat isn't always its friend because powder will kind of stick and then you've got your setting powder but sometimes with um this kind of texture um for eyes and cheeks i wouldn't do it but i certainly would keep it in my bag and top up when i needed to so that's the look there so this is it really guys um thank you for joining me if you stayed through the whole video um, again, I will put up the yellow dress giveaway next today. Um, again, I hope everyone is doing well. I think I'm just going through a phase where I'm working like crazy. I haven't got time a lot to then used to kind of FaceTime my mum all week. But um, and now obviously that's not happening. So missing that too. Um, and then just thinking about family and really just things that I want. Um, I've got a really, really good friends group and we call each other the tribe you find your own tribe and that's what we call each other and we had a wine the other day and we were kind of thinking and um, we were actually watching that friends episode where they're thinking of phasing a friend out she's that kind of big girl she's come back from the UK something like that and Chandler says something like uh, Monica says let's phase her out and then Chandler says oh, I don't what do you I know that's happened to me before and basically what it means is that your friends just phase you out um, and we were all in a group and we were laughing and actually it made us think about our age group and 
we were friends as a group with a couple of other friends um, and they married and got kids. And I think I've kind of touched on this before in a couple of videos. Um, they don't so much phase you out but at the start, but it kind of, the phone calls stop and it's because they find their mummy groups and they find all these things. And I do have, to be fair, two friends that are really, really close to me and they have children, but I find other friends, um, they kind of did phase us all out, which is unusual. And I think it's because they found their mummy groups, they found their tribe, as they say, but it was really weird when we were watching that episode because it reminded all of us of you know certain people um but it made us really really appreciate like the six people that we are really really good friends with we you know i know from and i know friends never like to be mentioned on here so i won't um my friends i mean um but we kind of really appreciated each other as we kind of were you know looking at that program and then we um and we rarely watch it anymore um and then thinking about the people that we used to be friends with and that we made the effort. But that can be anyone. It doesn't have to be because they have children. Some friends just do move on. Um, and it made us have, we had this massive discussion about it. And we weren't expecting to have that discussion, but it just kind of popped up. But I mean, maybe it's happened to you where you've had a really close friends, even if it's from school or you've, you've grown up with them or you've met them through work, things like that. And you just click, you hit it off and then something happens or over time, phone calls stop or things like that and it, you know friendship is 50 50 you know I understand that friendship is 50 50 you know but sometimes it can be 20 80 and you need to call in on that person who's the 20 and make sure they're okay you know and things like that so it all depends on the friends you have so I would say if you're going through something like this maybe Covid has maybe accentuated it a little bit more and um, really value the people you do have and if you don't have move to family explain it to them if you have this one person even one person it doesn't have to be six it doesn't have to be ten and if you don't have that one person go and ask for help you know do ask don't be afraid to ask for help people are out there to help there are phone lines there there are people message people you know even if anyone wants to message me it made me think of people online out there you know so many things are happening in the world right now that everybody needs somebody you know and um so yes i just wanted to say i hope everyone is doing well and that you have someone that you can at least chat to even if it's online you can kind of just download your day and you can talk to each other and um, so yes um i hope everyone is well and that you have a good weekend as it's friday and hopefully this gets uploaded today um thank you for sticking through to the end and i will pop up the really short video i just want to put up the the dress giveaway basically so the first person to message me or email just email me direct I'll put my email below when it's on so obviously when I do the video um, I'll show what it's like so you can see if it would suit your body type um, and then I will just post it off to you okay have a great weekend guys and I'll see you in the next video